the recruitment that is getting interesting, maybe because of another power program getting in on the outside. Brock Glenn, he was a guy that obviously is big on Auburn right now. Um, you talked to me a couple of days ago about just how important he is to this class because of his position and because of what the board looks like at his position at quarterback. Tell me about the Ohio State interest with Brock Glenn, whether that's something you, you would be especially worried about for Auburn moving forward um, and just how important of a recruit is he um, to get in this next class? Yeah. So recruit wise, I mean, he's massive because at this point, Auburn has kind of worked its way down the quarterback board um, and Brock Glenn is kind of the last remaining major target. If you miss on Brock Glenn, you don't have a lot of, I mean, you really don't have many other options at all left at quarterback. Um, you're looking at maybe trying to make a run and flip in somebody or taking on flyer on like a, really underrated three-star who doesn't have a lot of interest yet and might not be committed somewhere. So Landon Brock Glenn, a kid who's really raised up the recruiting scene over just, I mean, the past couple months, even the past month, really, um, he's jumped out to a four-star now. Landing him is extremely important. But like you just touched on, it's going to be a little bit more difficult than maybe initially anticipated. Um, he officially visited Florida State this weekend. Um, everything went really we well there from what I've been able to gather. And he'll be at Florida um, tomorrow, the 13th as well. Um, so you're looking at a couple major schools. And then obviously the Ohio State offer comes in. Now he's going to be going in to officially visit them next weekend, which is probably not what Auburn would have liked to have heard. They probably would have preferred, you know, oh, he gets an offer, but he can't quite work it into his schedule. Well, he's going to work it into his schedule. It's Ohio State. You kind of expected that to be the case. Um but Ohio State is going after two different quarterbacks in this class. They're going after Brock Glenn and then the Baylor commit, whose name is escaping me right now. Um, and both of those guys are going to be going in for officials. The one kind of key note to look at is Ohio State as the number one quarterback in the 2024 class already committed. Um, and you obviously have C.J. Stroud on roster for this year. So, or uh, no, he'd be going into the draft after next year. But either way, you have a good quarterback situation um, at Ohio State. So... All in all, I still am leaning on Auburn um, in this recruitment, picking them. Um, I think a lot of that is the relationships. He really hit on that heavily, how relationships are a big deal to him. And for him, you know, Auburn's been recruiting him probably the longest out of these schools, uh, maybe TCU a little bit longer, but Auburn's really been there kind of from the get-go since before he really started to rise up a little bit. And that kind of means a lot to him. Obviously, he is named after the school, Auburn Brock Glenn. Um, I don't think that plays as big of a factor maybe as some other people do. I, I think, honestly, the biggest thing is the relationships. Um, and Auburn's done a fantastic job building that relationship here um, and making sure that they know or that he knows how big of a priority he is.